Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed products. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a giant plow deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, which features both Colossal Plow and a Giant Ox. Giant Ox, a 2 mana 06, whose power rather than its toughness can be used to crew vehicles, which is perfect with Colossal Plow, a 2 mana 6 3 vehicle with crew 6, so we need a total of 6 power to crew Colossal Plow or a single Giant Ox. And whenever Colossal Plow attacks, we get to add triple white to our mana pool and gain 3 life and until end of turn we don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. So Colossal Plow is then perfect to help us cast our Runeforge Champion, a 3 mana 2-3, that when it enters a battlefield lets us search our library and our graveyard for a rune card, reveal it and put it into our hand, and then we can pay a single generic mana rather than pay the mana for rune spells we cast, and we've got 8 total runes in the deck, including a Rune of Sustenance, a 2 mana enchantment aura that can enchant any permanent, including our Colossal Plow, and as long as the enchanted permanent is a creature it has lifelink so as soon as we crew colossal plow it will be a 6-3 with lifelink and when the rune enters the battlefield we also get to draw a card so it replaces itself and then we also have a rune of flight which is very similar it enchants any of our permanents and when it enters the battlefield we get to draw a card and now the enchanted permanent as long as it's a creature gains flying so this is nice to give our colossal plow some evasion but of course we can also enchant any of our other creatures and to make up the rest of our deck we've got four copies of season Hellowblade, a 3-1 creature that can gain indestructible if we discard a card and then it gets tapped as well. So nice creature with some built-in protection, so also nice recipient for various runes as they'll be likely to stick around. And then we also have four copies of Shepherd of the Flock, another 2 mana 3 1. This one also has an adventure, Usher to Safety. For one mana, we can return target permanent we control to its owner's hand, so it can potentially bounce one of our runes so we can replay it and draw an extra card. Also, great in combination with Showdown of the Skulls, which we'll get to in a second. So, if we happen to draw two of these three powered creatures, we can still potentially crew Colossal Plow without our Giant Ox. So, that's why having these three powered creatures is so important. And then, rounding out the deck, we mentioned Showdown of the Skulls, a four mana and Enchantment Saga that on the first chapter exiles the top four cards of our library and until the end of our next turn we may play those cards so this potentially gives us a ton of card advantage and can help assemble the Giant Ox and Colossal Plow combo and also takes advantage of the discount from Runeforge Champion as it makes it easier to cast all those spells before they go away and on the second and third chapters whenever we cast a spell this turn we can put a plus one plus one counter on target creature we control so that can also accumulate a ton of power and toughness for free and then taking a look at the final piece of the deck, we've got four copies of a Giant Killer, a 1 mana 1 2 with an adventure chop down, which we can play first, destroying target creature with power 4 or greater at instant speed for 2 and a white, and otherwise a 1 2 creature that for 1 and a white can tap to tap target creature. So this is a nice 1 drop we can cast if we happen to exile it with Showdown of the Skulls, otherwise a nice interactive spell that we can keep in hand to deal with larger creatures that might be able to block our various 3 powered creatures otherwise, but of course just giving them flying and lifelink is another nice way to enhance them. And then going over the mana base, we've got 4 Herogren Triome, all 12 pathways in our colors, as well as 8 basic planes. So a very straightforward game plan, that's a ton of fun if we can crew an early Colossal Plow and make use of the extra mana. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand, especially if we can find a Giant Ox. But turn 2 Plow, turn 3 Champion, then we can start enchanting our Plow with our various runes to give it flying and hopefully draw into some 3 powered creatures or Giant Ox. So for now, I guess we can play one of these out as a blue source. And then we'll want one red source to potentially play Showdown, but everything else can be white. Opponent on red-green snow. And a Cultivate for Ramp. Against the Ramp deck we're going to want to apply as much pressure as possible. A second Plow not super helpful at the moment. So, let's play Runeforge. Might as well get the Lifelink Rune to diversify a bit. And then next turn we can enchant our Plow twice, maybe play second Plow. Beanstalk Giants, gonna ramp some more.
All right, still nothing. So Saruna flights the plow. Could also put uh, Rune of Sustenance on Runeforge Champion itself. Start gaining a bit of life. Pick up another Runeforge. Opponent runs out Beanstalk Giant, a 7-7, and Giant Killer, the perfect answer to the Beanstalk here. So, we'll start by enchanting our Plow with another Rune Flight. Alright, more Plows. Need to start finding some actual creatures here. So, yeah, I guess we'll just Giant Killer run this out as a, a red source. And then next turn we can play another Rune Forge. And then we're just one power away from crewing Colossal Plow at long last. A Rampart Smasher, so we're putting clearly on a team or giant tribal deck. And Agar. So they're probably gonna have some sweepers to deal with our board here. Which is gonna be problematic. But for now. I guess we can play Hallowblade and fly over for six. Could also Runeforge first. Get another, probably, I guess, Rune of Flights to put on the Hallowblade. Since we're going to be gaining a bunch of life off our... Also plow. Alright, and there's giant ox which we can potentially play afterwards. Could also, let's see, crew with a champion and then use giant killer to tap something down, but then we won't have any attackers, so there's no real points. Just fly over. And at least Giant Ox survives the Battle of Frost and Fire. It's gonna be Moritz of the Frost to copy Rampart Smasher, now it's 7 7. Could block with the Giant Ox, but it seems unnecessary here when they can maybe finish it off with a Burn Spell. So I'll just take 5. And then next turn we can crew double plow. Opponent's tapped out, so don't need to fear any instant speed removal like squash. And our opponent explodes as two flying plows are gonna finish them off. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play, and yeah, don't hate this. We've got Shepard to synergize with Showdown, so we might play one and then save the other one to eventually return our Showdown back to our hand. And if we find a plow, we've got two three-powered creatures to help us crew it. Opponent on red-white. And a selfless savior, which can trade for Shepard. So not super interested in trading. And I'll probably just pass here with our adventure available. And this might be a case where we do play showdown on turn four instead of waiting, since we've got plenty of lands in hand already. So don't really mind missing out on one land drop. Another savior. Alright, let's play our 
show down here. Alright, there's some goodies. Now, I won't be able to cast everything in time. But I can play champion plus plow and then get another rune. Opponents got their own showdown, it's only fair. And we see some black cards too here with Call of the Death Dweller and Blood Sky Berserker. Alrighty, so step one, play this as a land. Probably Runeforge gets a Flying Rune, since we've got Sustenance in hand, and then play Plow as well. And do we Diversify? Uh, opponent could have maybe a Stomp from Bonecrusher, so that's a reason to still put an extra counter on Shepard here. And then we'll hit for 5. And then I'll need to put a stop so we can return Showdown back to our hands before it goes away on the third chapter. Opponents has their black mana for Blood Sky Berserker. And Lurus of the Dream Den, nice combo with Selfless Savior, so the Flying Rune is going to be pretty important to fly over here. Alright, so we can let the third trigger go on the stack, but in response we want to bounce it with Shepard. This way we still get the effect of the plus one counter. And then what's next? Probably want a Rune of Flight Colossal Plow. And our opponent explodes as we're about to give our Plow flying. We'll have a 6 power Shepherd to crew it, and then we even had Giant Killer to maybe slow down the Blood Sky Berserker. Could give it to Lifelink as well, so we were in pretty good shape. And then the extra mana also comes in handy when leveraging Showdown again. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Hellblade plus two runes to enchant it, and eventually showdown to try and assemble our combo. Facing a Soul Guide Lantern of Crawling Barons, maybe some sort of colorless Forsaken Monument deck, as we see spare supplies as well. Labyrinth, potentially effective against our Colossal Plow. Palladium Mirror, gonna help the opponent ramp. Champion was not a bad pickup, so we'll hit for three. And play Champion. Which is gonna search up probably another Rune of Flight. Don't think gaining life is going to be incredibly important in this matchup. Hopefully we don't see Forsaken Monument here, since that'll give the opponent a lot of extra mana to work with. Instead they're going to draw with Spare Supplies. Looking for the Legendary Artifact. Can expect the opponent to be playing with Ugin the Spirit Dragon as a one-sided sweeper. So it's really our job to try and close out the game quickly. Crystal and Giants picks up Menace. And we could play Showdown, or we can just start beating down and then wait one extra turn on Showdown of the Skulls. So we have more mana to leverage the extra cards. Thing that's best. I'll just give a Runeforge Champion flying first. Since Hellblade can still attack past Crystal and Giant. Alright, Shepherd of the Flock could be a nice one too. In combination with Showdown. So let's give Hellblade some sustenance. 
And then I could play Shepard as another 3-1 to increase the pressure. Yeah, I don't know if picking up Showdown is really going to be all that relevant in this matchup, since it feels like our opponent's just going to, at some point, play an Ugin and the game's going to be over, so it doesn't matter if we can gain more card advantage with Showdown. So just could apply as much pressure as we can. And then we can maybe give it flight. And there's Forsaken Monument, so... Next turn we could already see the Spur Dragon make an appearance. For now a 6-6 Crystal and Giants, which would be a nice target for a Giant Killer. Which would be quite fitting. But I'm gonna start gaining life with Monument as well. Yeah, any sort of Forsaken Monument deck is going to be incredibly scary once it finds its build-around card. Alright, so I guess it's time to showdown here. There's Shepard. And then for now, can gain some life. Points at six, but let's see if they've got Ugin here. Yep. So that's gonna presumably minus four. Exile our entire board. That also means we lose access to all those plus one counters from the second chapter of Showdown, which was. Maybe one way we could still get there by putting some plus one counters on Ox, but they could still minus two to get rid of it, so... It's a bit of a lost cause, and I don't really see us recovering from here. So we'll just pass here and let our opponent finish us off. Cosmo's Elixir, nice addition for the colorless deck. And synergizes nicely with monuments. So yeah, this matchup kind of boils down to whether or not the opponent can curve monuments into Ugin, which they did. And Ugin gonna finish the job. On to the next one. Ghost fire. My greatest creation. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. We'll need to draw a second three-powered creature or hopefully giant ox, but probably gonna lead with turn two plow on the off chance that we do. Another Rune of Sustenance. Maybe I should still play Hollow Blade first here. And then next turn I can play Plow. And then we can maybe crew it. By the time we draw another three-powered creature, opponent on a blue-green snow deck with turn two Avalanche Caller. Showdown's gonna be nice eventually. Yeah, we'll uh, attack. Opponent's gonna take three and we'll Play the plow. And then we've got around 11 draws that easily let us crew Colossal Plow. Don't expect my opponent to activate Avalanche Caller anytime soon, but we do eventually have a giant killer to kill one of their four powered creatures. It's going to be Eutropia, the twice favored instead. So they are going to have quite a few enchantments to enable Constellation. 
All right, so for now we could play Showdown. I think I would rather wait one turn on Showdown. So for now we'll play Rune. That way we can potentially play two lands of the Saga. And then Rune of Light seems good too. And their Shepherd. Could have also elected to put Rune of Flight on Colossal Plow. So that it can eventually fly over. So next turn, we have a few options. We can crew Colossal Plow if the attacks line up, or we can play Showdown. And then eventually Shepard could also be nice with Showdown. Spirit of the Elder Guard. Pretty large threat here, although we can take it out with our Giant Killer. So drawing a land and then being able to go Giant Killer, Spirits, and then play Shepard to crew Plow would be nice. Or we can even crew plow and then use the mana to at instant speed kill spirit. So that's probably going to be my play. Play shepherd. I might need to go into full control to be able to do this properly. And then we can still play our giant killer afterwards plus a Triome, and I don't mind playing the extra land out since Showdown will draw us into more action. can also think about putting the Rune of Sustenance on our Colossal Plow. Primal Empathy triggers Constellation. Good combo with large creatures like Spirit of the Elder Guard. Frogify on the Seasoned Hello Blade. Alright. Turns it into a 1 1, but still retains the lifelink and flying. And then for now, suppose we play Hello Blade in order to crew Plow. And then I can tap down a blocker with Giant Killer. So these two get to attack, and then we can still play Showdown second main. Alright, and our opponent explodes, still had Shepard to potentially bounce our Showdown back to our hand. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with... Not a very exciting hand, but it is just one plow away from being exciting. And in the meantime, we can rune a flight on Hellblade to start beating down. We'll try it. So between Runeforge Champion, Showdown of the Skulls, Colossal Plow, there's a lot of draws that we wouldn't mind. But we're gonna start with a turn one opt. Probably gonna hang on to the second Triome to eventually cycle. Can also use the mana from Plow to spend on cycling. Triome, so that plays out nicely. Opponent on blue red. So blue red can struggle to deal with Hollow Blade. So we'll see how they handle it. The Ferris Tutelage, zero points of mill deck. The red probably for burn spells, sweepers like Storm's Wrath, and draw effects like Cathartic Reunion. Sadly, there goes one plow. Giant killer, not going to be especially useful in this matchup. So we'll enchant Hollow Blades. And pick up Shepard. Yeah, I guess keeping Trium in hand is probably still worth it. And I'll just run out Giant Killer as a 1-2. The good thing about Colossal Plow is that it can dodge Sorcery Speed Removal, like Storm's Wrath. And Giant Ox survives the 4 damage. Ageless Insight plus Tutelage is a scary combination though. Runeforge Champion can search up an additional rune. Which is probably the play here. Okay. 
can search out of our graveyards or library. There were none in the graveyard. So we'll go with another Rune of Flights. Don't think our life total is going to matter in this matchup. Attack for four. Next turn we can maybe play Double Shepherd, although I do expect the opponent to have some sweepers in there. And there's a Storm's Wrath. So what do we discard? Probably just a Triome. Alright, can play another Hallow Blade and Shepherd. Could also use the Adventure on the Rune first to maybe draw an extra card next turn. Which seems reasonable. So we'll see if they have another sweeper here, but we've got double Hallow Blade we can make indestructible and some cards we don't mind discarding. So our opponent's got a limited number of turns left. Although a second tutelage could get the job done next turn. They don't need much card draw to close out the game. And our deck is not able to get one additional damage here to finish off the opponent since our runes don't grant any additional power. So we're down to 29 cards. Showdown is questionable whether or not we should play it, since that could just make it so we mill a little sooner. We'll start by attacking. Opponent might have removal for Shepard. Blitz gonna take it out, but not before I think we bounce it with Shepard. And I'm just going to play out both. Alright, let's see if our opponent can close out the game here. Twenty-four cards remain. Opponent's got two cards in hand. One of them is an opt, which is a good start. For the opponent, at least. Gonna mill us for eight. Down to 16 cards. Gotta hope that they picked up some lands and removal, but nope, thrill possibility. Gonna trigger to phrase to let a bunch more, and I think the game is essentially over now. Mills us for exactly 16. No cards remain. So despite our best efforts to avoid drawing too many cards, double tutelage got the job done. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. We've got our turn two Colossal Plow. Missing Giant Ox, but... Imagine just drawing Ox here and then going off with Runeforge Champion. And even if we don't, we've got double Runeforge with a couple runes to play for one mana to help us draw through our deck. We will need to find a third land, but always have the option of playing Rune of Flight, Enchanting, or a Colossal Plow to help us hit our land drops. Let's see what we're up against. Fabled Passage. Alright, let's hope to draw a giant ox next turn. If not, we'll have to flight the plow. Alright, opponent on some multicolor concoction here. We'll run out to Runeforge. He gets some lifelink runes. 
And then this might be a situation where if we do find land 4, I might play Showdown right away, just in the hopes of finding a giant ox as soon as possible. There's a chance I can still draw into one here, and since we drew a tap land, this is really my only option. Besides, I guess, playing another Runeforge. But this seems okay. Put Flying on the plow, give ourselves one more draw towards Giant Ox. And if not, we can play some more runes. Now, I'm not sure what type of matchup we're playing. So... Don't know if we should keep Giant Killer in hand, or if it's better to just play it as a one-mana creature. I think I'm gonna run it out as a one-drop just because there's a small chance that we can crew the Plow if we just draw a three-powered creature next turn. And then the extra mana from Plow will be helpful to cast Showdown. All right, Binding the Old God, sadly gonna kill our Plow that was set up nicely with all those enchantments. But now we can Showdown. And there's the Ox, which would have been nice. And then for now, probably play the Rune of Flight. Next turn I get to cast not all of them, since I'll only have 6 mana. But I'll be able to Hallow Blade and Champion, probably. Another binding. Gonna take care of Runeforge Champion, that's alright. So I think we want to load as many counters as possible onto the Hallow Blade, which is a safer investment, so we'll Hallow Blade first. And then Runeforge puts counter on Hallow Blade. And we'll search up another Rune of Flight, I believe. Can get one out of the graveyard, so we have more left in the deck. And might as well play it now. I guess we'll go with Rune of Sustenance instead. And put that one also on the Hallow Blade. As well as the counter. Keep Rune of Flight for a future plow. And hit for two. So there's no lack of card advantage here with another showdown in hand, two more copies of Runeforge Champion. Question is, what's the opponent gonna do as their end game? Do they have a big sweeper like Ugin the Spirit Dragon? Which is gonna rain on our parade. How do they plan to win the game? Doomscar to wipe the board. So can probably ditch one Rune of Flight since Runeforge can just get it back from the graveyard. Alright, there's Colossal Plow. So, can play Runeforge, play Colossal Plow. No real need to show down this turn, I think. And then probably just keep loading counters onto the Hallow Blade. Or I could put counters on Colossal Plow. Although, yeah, putting counters on Plow is maybe useful if the opponent drops an Ugin the Spirit Dragon, since they wouldn't be able to exile the Colorless Artifact here. But at the same time, we also need to crew Colossal Plow. Which is going to be tricky without any creatures. So we'll play it like this and just hope they don't have an Ugin. And then I'll put uh, Rune of Flight on the plow itself. And put Counter probably still on Hello Blade. They could still use Instant Speed Removal on Hello Blade just to force me to tap it, but that's okay. So 
so they should kill it now in response to the card draw effect. Oh wow, barrier breach, exiling three enchantments. All right, that's fine. And we'll hit for eight. All right. Probably keep land in hand, or do we? I guess with showdown we probably don't have to. So I don't want to see an Ugin. So now our best chance is drawing into another giant ox with our showdown of the skulls to finish off our opponents. And with showdown we have a decent chance of drawing into another copy. So let's go. All right, that works too. Hellblade and Shepherd to crew the plow and defeat the evil planeswalker that is Ugin's bird dragon. We could plow Ugin first, but that would just be bad manners. Alright, we're on the play. We've got a turn two Colossal Plow, and then if we draw any three-powered creature or giant ox, we get to Crude on turn three, so I'll try it. Might be turn four before we actually attack with it, but especially with Showdown to refuel, this hand has a lot of potential. So, turn two Plow, in the hopes of drawing an ox. Maybe missed out on three damage by not playing Hallowblade first, but that's okay. Gotta dream big sometimes. Alright, opponent on a snow deck with the three seasons. Alright, no Ox just yet. So, time for Hallowblade plus Triome. And then we might end up using Showdown to try and find an Ox. Three seasons gonna get back God of Winter and Spirit of the Elder Guard. And an Avalanche Caller as a 1 3 blocker for now. That's okay. Alright, so we'll probably just play Showdown here. I could Rune of Sustenance on either targets here in the hopes of drawing into another two mana creature. I think Showdown's probably gonna give us the best chance overall. All right, another plow, a bit lacking in the creature department. So, Hallowblade can probably attack for now. Don't mind discarding a rune here, or a land for that matter. Now we should be able to crew Colossal Plow next turn just by getting some counters from Showdown. So four mana for our opponents. They're probably not gonna run out Spirit of the Elder Guard knowing about Giant Killer. It's gonna be God of Winter instead. So that can Next turn, untap some lands from the opponents. They might have the Blizzard Brawl here. So that's gonna force me to discard another rune. That's okay. Alright, Rune of Flight, actually nice pickup, although it might be uh, for next turn. So how is our sequencing like? I can... Play a giant killer. What I want to try and set up is putting a plus one counter on Colossal Plow after crewing it, essentially. So if I play Plow, can put counter on Hellblade. 
And then the crew will also plow. And then... Probably, let's see. I guess we can Rune of Flight for now, and then with the extra mana... I can still... Play my Giant Killer and Rune of Sustenance. Alright, and our opponent's gonna concede to the Flying Plow. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with the Dream Hand here. Turn 2 Plow, turn 3 Crude with Ox, and even have ways to spend our 3 white mana with Runeforge Champion and even Rune of Flight to give our Plow some wings. Facing Scarred Barons, maybe a Black White Life Gain deck. Right, time for Plow. And hopefully our opponent taps out so we get to connect with our Colossal Plow. Opponent's gonna revitalize to gain three and draw a card. And a Blood Sky Berserker. That's okay. And do they have another one mana spell to put two counters on it? Defiant Strike. Alright. So they now have a 3 3 that can jump in front of our Colossal Plow. So what's our plan? I can wait a turn on crowing the plow so we can give it flying in the meantime. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So we will play out our Runeforge champion and then can probably afford to get Rune of Sustenance and then next turn I get to Giant Ox, crew the plow and give it flying. Hardless Act takes out Champion, that's okay, can still enact our game plan. Berserker gonna hit for 6. And I guess for now we don't even need Flying, a lifelink is gonna be better for us. So Rune of Sustenance, Plow. And then the extra mana is gonna come in handy to deploy an extra Plow perhaps. So, yeah, play another plow and then next turn we can crew both potentially. Not gonna use the adventure. Even though we can bounce the rune of sustenance to maybe draw an extra card in the future. We're a bit tight on mana. At least in our first main phase. Berserker hits for five, opponent passes. So they're probably keeping up some instant speed removal for plow, but we can crew two of them, so that's alright. So the life-linking one's gonna die. But the other one gets to attack. Right, Heartless Act takes out Plow. So what do we do with our mana? Probably just play a Shepherd and that's it. Could also, I guess, pick up a land since we haven't played a land for the turn yet. So we can play Rune of Flight. Is that better? Nah, I guess we'll wait until next turn and just play Shepherd here. So I suppose just keeping up an extra white mana for an extra Shepherd activation was better. Berserker number two. Our opponent still doesn't know about Rune of Flight, so... That's quite useful. Pressure Point, so they've got all of these cheap cantrips like Pressure Point and Revitalize, Defiant Strike to enable their double spell synergies, which is pretty nice. But our opponent's about to get plowed. So Rune of Flight on the plow. Another ox to crew it, not that it matters. Since we're gonna turn everyone sideways. And our opponent should be dead here. Uh, 
All right, so overall our giant plow deck Maybe not the most consistent deck in existence, but definitely a ton of fun whenever we get to land an early Colossal Plow and crew it with Giant Ox or multiple three-powered creatures, and then Showdown of the Skulls and Runeforge Champion give it a bit of additional card draw and consistency to help us enable those various combos. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.